What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture. Today's video is based upon a template I've taken from a website called Mixkit. If you haven't heard about it, go and have a look. The templates over here are all free. You just need to sign up and you don't need to pay anything for it. They're also part of Envato Elements. So if you already have the subscription with Envato, you can also come here and download the content for free. If you don't have the Envato subscription, you can still come down, sign up and get all the templates for free. So I would strongly recommend having a look at the website. They have really good content here and you can get the content for different platforms as well. So without further ado, let's start. First thing first, download the template and unzip it. Once you've unzipped the project, open up After Effects and open the project. Now, when you open the project, it will look something like this. On the left hand side, you have all the different compositions and you can see here as well, they're all lined up and sequenced properly. Once you go into each of the sequence on the composition, sorry, uh, you can see different sub composition and this is where you will be able to download and import all your um, media, whether it's your images or your video files. You can also bring audio as well if you want. So first of all, let's have a look at the first composition and let's go to media one. And over here, as you can see, this is a video file. What you can do is you can either create a new folder if you go here and you create a new folder and what you will do is that you just say call it media or something like that where you can just organize all your videos and images into one folder so you keep things neat and clean so i'm just going to quickly go and import two video files and what we'll do as i said to keep things neat and tidy and clean i'm just going to put all my media into this folder okay so after this what we'll do is we're going to drag this one and put it on top of this video file, which is already in our composition. But you can also make it as invisible by just clicking on this I button over there. I'm going to mute the audio in my video file. So here it is. But you can also, as you can see here, there's a there's a sub composition called frame. And as you can see, there are some there's some text in this composition as well, which you, if you want, you can modify and change it. So what are we going to do? Let's just play the video that I've just imported anyway, just to make sure that it is at the right size and there's nothing, no issues there. Have a quick look, make sure everything is okay. And if all is okay, what we're going to do is move to this frame composition. Oh, if this is locked, you can see if you can't, open it by double clicking it just make sure that there's no padlock over here if it is click on it just one click and it will allow you to go in there okay now what you can do is to zoom in a bit and you can change the the text so i can say the video i've just downloaded was from scotland so i can say Edinburgh Castle. Okay. Oh. And on here, I can just leave it as play, to be honest. This is fine for this video that I've just imported. If I had anything else, I probably would have changed something here. But um, for now, for this particular video, I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, and all right, just change this. Okay, now we're good. What we're going to do, go back, and you can also change the color if you want. I'm not too fussed about the colors at this stage, but if you if you want to change it, select the, the line and come back to the, the character panel here, and you can change anything, the font, the color, the size, whatever you want. Okay, so we're going to close this composition, go back, and as you can see here, this is already um, changed for you. Okay, and exactly in the same way, you can do all the other compositions as well. Okay, so close this one. You can also, as I said, you can also bring the audio file here as well. It's totally up to you. And once you're done, just close the composition 
and you go back in here and you will see your composition or your video file and all your changes automatically made in here okay so when you go to the main composition which is called the render me when you play it it will look something like this okay there we go as you can see the first video that we changed was really at the start and it got pushed out um, of the screen straight away but the method is exactly the same for changing any audio or video file in all of these compositions so you can replicate it exactly the same way as I've just done uh, I just wanted to show you I won't go into every single composition because it's going to take a lot of time and you don't want to be spending here hours here okay so simply go into the composition go into the sub composition if there are any import your media your audio files your video files your images um, and then you're good to go basically once you've done all your compositions and your sub compositions simply come here to the composition menu go down to media encoder queue or select your render queue and this is all it so i hope you liked the video i hope it was useful for you i do have other templates and the tutorials about other templates from Envato Elements in my playlist in my channel go and have a look and if you do have any questions um, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it as quickly as I can until the next video look after yourself and see you then bye